Our time with the A1 has come to an end and I think I'll miss it when it goes. Most of the time we've had it, it's been on winter tyres. Although we've had a few cold days with them on, it did affect the rides a little bit. We've also got the original alloys back on as well and I think they just look better. We've got the standard sport suspension on this car and although it's a little bit on the firm side, it's just on the right side are comfortable so most people should be pretty happy with it. And like I was saying earlier, it's much better now we've got the summer tyres back on it. Refinement wise, it's alright actually, you get a little bit of road noise coming from the tyres. There's not too much wind noise and considering I spend about two hours in the car every day, it's just about right for my needs. The engine it generally keeps itself to itself, it only really makes a noise when you start accelerating or going to overtake someone. It's got just enough power for the motorway, brilliant in town. So on that front, I can't really complain. Fuel economy, well, it's somewhere between 49, 50, that sort of range. So it's pretty good. It's a little bit below the average MPG for, uh, for the car, but you know, it's not too bad. It's been getting much better. Everything in the cabin is just as good as any other Audi. It looks good, it feels good, you can't really fault it. Also comes with a couple of other options in it that you wouldn't expect in any other Super Mini. For example, there's the voice control for the phone, music or sat-nav. It's generally pretty good. For example, with the sat-nav, you just press the button, enter destination, and put the name of where you want to go. Please enter the town and the street. Richmond, for example. The list is being loaded. Please say the entry or the line number. Pallet Hill. Richmond, Pallet Hill has been accepted. Would you like to start route guidance? Yes. Your route is being calculated. The destination is in the indicated direction. The system generally works quite well, but it can get a little bit confused sometimes. The thing I notice it on the most is the jukebox function. For example, if I want to listen to a bit of air, I'll just go to media. 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 Then go to the artist. Artist, air. Please say the name of the artist or the line number. And it doesn't come up on the screen, which is a little bit annoying at times. But generally it's quite good. I also think the A1's quite a good looking car. It's got those classic Audi lines to it. But the only thing is, it looks like every other Audi, and that's the thing I really don't like about it. It, it just lacks character almost. It's a shame because it's a really good car, but I'm not really sure I'll miss it 